Huge thanks and shout out to me and Freddie Chevrolet on Highland Boulevard of New Dorp Lane for letting me come down and video their vehicles. All their information will be in the description box below. What's up YouTube, J Malibu 0326 here. And today, I bring you this brand new 2016 Chevrolet Trax LTZ all-wheel drive. It's gonna be a full tour and start up the Trax LTZ and we'll go ahead and get started. So looking at the key fob, it is Chevrolet's switchblade key. You have your unlock, lock, remote start, and panic. Remote start in the vehicle, you just lock it, hold down the remote start button. When you remote start the vehicle, your front corning lamps do come on as well as your rear tail lamps. To shut it off, you just hold it down once more. This exterior color is the black granite metallic with jet black leather interior. It also does have some beige accents on the seat, on the sides. Start it, you just flip the key. This vehicle only has four miles on it. The driver's window is automatic up and down. So, first things first, we'll go ahead and put some air on in here. So, it is pretty hot out today, it's about 90. It's 98 degrees. So we'll start off with the driver's door panel. It is hard touch up here, but it is a pretty good material. Soft touch down here. You have your door handle with some storage in there. Chrome door handle with nice material here. You have your all, all four automatic up and down windows. You have your window locks power locks here. You also have your power mirror controls. To the left of the steering wheel you have your automatic headlamps, fog lamps, and your gauge dimming. Coming to the left of the steering wheel you have your turn signals with your high beam controls as well as um, you have your cruise control settings here. Some people assume that the cruise control settings are here but they are, those buttons are actually to set and clear trips. So pressing menu, going through this screen here, you can see it does change. And then you can go up and down to cycle through what corner you would like to say what. Coming to the right of the wheel, you have your variable intermittent speed wipers with your rear wiper. Coming to the wheel, it is leather wrapped, but it is covered in plastic right now. Because this vehicle is basically right off the truck. You have your cruise control settings here. You have really nice... Um, material here. You have your horn with your Chevrolet emblem and your airbag. You have all of your voice commands and settings. Your voice commands and audio settings. Coming to the center, you have your Chevrolet MyLink screen. Going home, you have your audio, phone, and audio picture and movie, telephone, smartphone link, which is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You also have settings. To the right you have your time, temperature, and date. Below that you have your traction control on and off, hazard lights, airbag on and off for your passenger. You have your heated seats in here. You, um, For driver and passenger you have your manual climate control, temperature adjustments here. You have your um, AC button, recycle, you have your fan speeds, you have your rear defroster, and all of your zones right here. I apologize if the air conditioning does make a little bit of noise in the video. Going into audio. This 
does have a six speaker Bose audio system with a subwoofer in the trunk. So into your audio screen you have your source up there with OnStar, USB and all of your sources and such. Above you have your temperature and time once again. You have all your presets on the bottom with your tune and seek menu and all of that. We'll go back home. Coming to your glove box, you do have two glove boxes in this vehicle. You have an aux jack in there as well as a USB port. Up here, you have a little bit of storage. Pretty nice dash materials. You have little win little um, windows there for more visibility. Coming up here, you have your mirror and vanity light. Up here, you have your automatic dimming rear view mirror with your OnStar controls. You have lighting controls here, as well as sunroof controls and microphones for your Bluetooth. Opening up the sunroof, you can either slide it or tilt it. It is automatic. And to shut it, you just press this right here. Now, to shut the sunroof either way, you can hit these two buttons because they both do the same thing. Coming down further, you have a little card holder for business cards and such. You also have a 12 volt outlet there. You have storage down there which could be used for your phone or wallet. Down here you have your controller for your 6 speed automatic transmission with manual shifting. Does have a rear backup camera with backup sensors, as you heard. It does disappear after a couple seconds. Coming down lower, you have a cup holder where I do have my water bottle. You have two cup holders there. Cup holder back there for the rear seat passengers. You also do have a driver armrest. It comes down like that. You do have your parking brake there. Seat, be seat belt buckle. You also have a storage cubby here for sunglasses. And now we'll turn on our headlights, fog lights, and our hazards. And we'll pop the hood and check out what the hood, the back seat, and the trunk has to offer on the brand new Chevrolet tracks. Now the standard engine for all Chevrolet tracks models is a 1.4 liter turbocharged Ecotec four cylinder engine that puts out 138 horsepower and 148 pound feet of torque. Fuel economy ratings are 26 city, 34 highway for the all-wheel drive model. This engine is also shared with the track's cousin, the Buick Encore. Toby, you just hit the little latch. Coming to the back seat. Pretty roomy back seat. It's a nice vehicle for commuting. And you know with New York, we've had some rough winters these past couple years, so you do need a small SUV that can get through the snow or bad weather. Back here you have a 12 volt household outlet. We'll step into the back seat. In my driving position, I do have plenty of room. Hard touch door panels um, with some soft touch here. Automatic window.
open it, you just hit the little latch. Coming to the back seat. Pretty roomy back seat. It's a nice vehicle for commuting. And, you know, with New York, we've had some rough winters these past couple years, so you do need a small SUV that can get through the snow or bad weather. Back here you have a 12 volt household outlet. We'll step into the back seat. In my driving position, I do have plenty of room. Hard touch door panels um, with some soft touch here. Automatic window. I'm sorry, um, only the driver and passenger windows are automatic. You also have an armrest here with cup holders, but it is covered in plastic, so I do not want to rip the plastic. Storage cubby here on both back doors. Two speakers on the doors. You also have um, corner handles as well as code hooks and a light here. We'll leave it on the door setting. And these headrests do come down for visibility and these seats do fold. Coming into the trunk, pretty competitive trunk for the class. I don't know the exact numbers it has, but it's pretty good space for what you would use it for. Couldn't put a whole apartment in here, but you could do some grocery trips. You do have a spare tire with your jack in there and some storage, storage cubby here. You have your fuse box in there, I believe. Little hooks for bags. You also have a light back there, and it does have the cargo cover that you can take off by undoing those little straps there. You also do have a handle to shut your trunk. Now, I know some people will say to me, Well, John, you just did a video of a Trax LT. Well, I've never showed the LTZ on my channel before, and I'm sure. Not many people have seen them because they are pretty rare to find on the road because most people get the LT model or the LS, at least where I live. So above the headlights you have your turn signal slash parking lights. You have your halogen headlamps there with your halogen high beams. You also have your halogen fog lights with chrome around the fog lights. I am a really big fan of this black paint with the metallic flakes. You also have a black paint here across the grill with your Chevrolet bow tie. You also have chrome throughout the grill. Black plastic on the bottom um, with some silver over there. But overall it is a very nice vehicle. Now the thing I love about this vehicle is not the tires but the wheels. The tire size are P2 15 55R18s. They are Continental tires. Continental Conti Pro Contact. And they are really nice black painted wheels, which I do like. For people that know me personally know that I love black wheels. Coming in here, you have your fuel cap. Nothing special. It's a fuel cap. You have your backup sensors on the bottom of the bumper with red ref red deflectors or reflectors. These tail lamps are standard across the board for all Trax models. You also have your turn signals and reverse lamps. Chevrolet bow tie, Trax LT, all wheel drive badges. Backup camera there with your License plate light. You also have your rear wiper. Sirius XM antenna. This vehicle also has your roof racks and the sunroof up there. So now we'll go inside, give it a couple revs. And then we'll shut down the vehicle. We'll shut off our hazards and our headlights and fog lights. We'll put them back in automatic and we'll give it a couple revs.
has about a 2500 RPM limit. And to shut it, you just turn the key. You also have um, OnStar 4G LTE and Wi-Fi in all GM vehicles today, which is a very nice competitive feature. Alright guys, well I want to thank you for watching my full tour and startup of this brand new 2016 Chevrolet Trax LTZ. If you have any questions about this vehicle, please contact me, I'm Freddie Chevrolet. Or if you have any questions about vehicles on their lot. I cannot guarantee that this specific vehicle will be in stock at the time you get in touch with them, but they will have a vehicle possibly like it or just as nice. So I want to thank you guys for watching, follow us on all social media, and I will see you all later.